These are some paintings by Howard Rose. He's doing a demo for the Art League of Nassau County, and I'll be taking some short clips on the subject. And I'm just going to scan some photos of his paintings. Some beautiful beach scenes over here. Here's Howard's design board. Well, it's sort of like how to start a painting, Great. you know? Great. Here we go. And after you get the shapes, you step back and say, this is an abstract design that's working as a design. You'll know right away whether your design is working or it's not working. Meaning that I want to maybe take my, my horizon and bring it up a little bit. Or I want to make this, if this was a little in here like that, if this was a little uh, narrow, it maybe wouldn't be a good design. So after you get that, is it, I'm, I'm kind of telling you what Matt Smith did with the big tremendous uh, the Grand Canyon type of scene. Five or six shades, and then you switch your eyes at, at the most complicated shape and it, it becomes one color. A big mountain will have one color. A whole side of a mountain with trees and everything else will become one color. The idea is to take that color and put it down and just kind of fill it in without any details at all. No, no, uh, no shadows, no details here, no trees, no, stuff, no little hanging branches, anything else. If you get that, if you get that uh, shapes in with the average color, this is like 20, this is like 20 minutes. And I, and we're not rushing by any means, but this, this over here is, is only a painting in itself. It is, it is a painting. It's, it's, a, it's a very abstract painting without any, without any detail at all. So once you have something like this, if you step back and say, okay, it's a really nice design. I have my design. It's working. It's kind of hard for you to go wrong. If you just get the lights and the dogs and people know I've done these beaches. I got this gallery at, at an island. And she kind of saw me with the beaches. She always put water in and people like that. But the little ones from five by seven to six feet beaches. So I've done a lot of them. And uh, I, I told my teacher uh, last year, I said, Charles, I said, I've done over 150 beaches. How many, how, is, it, is, it, is it okay if I keep my books? I said, sure, everyone's different. And they really are different. Different sky, different tone, different atmosphere, different mood. But uh, last year I went to the College of Old Westbury. I'll tell this again, whoever heard me, sorry. And I was looking for something like out west, where they had that atmosphere. And you know, well, that's, one of the reasons, that's one of the reasons that people go to the southwest. They love those purple mountains. And they love the fact that there's a mountain, and a mountain, and a mountain, and it gets purple, and it gets more purple, and bluer, and, and, and on a little teeny 9 by 12 canvas, you can see for 10 miles, which is really exciting. The clouds are beautiful, the atmosphere is beautiful. And I tried to find it in, in Long Island here, and I, I can't seem to find it. But I did find it. <laughs> <laughs> this is called, the College of Old Westbury. This is like a very good study to try and, and, and get a green painting with lots of colors in it. So that's what I want to try. I usually tell my canvas, I think I told you that last time, but anyway, I tell my canvas for, and again, you can do whatever you want. A lot of people paint with the white canvas. The reason I love to tell my canvas is that I see the lights and I see the darks. If you do it with the white canvas, then you kind of forget about it. The whites until later. And I would say a couple of years ago, when never even looked at this 